escape outdoors unharmed before the house actually collapses. Gracia, ¿no? La gente no ha tenido ni tiempo de salir de sus casas. Lo mismo podría pasarnos aquí. ¡Qué miedo! ¿Y qué podemos hacer? Tenemos pues que reforzar nuestras casas. ¿Te acuerdas lo que nos dijeron los señores que vinieron de la Universidad Católica? Sí, pues. Decían que nosotros mismos podemos reforzar nuestras casas. Con eso al menos no se caerán tan rápido. Y nos dará tiempo a salir, ¿no? Oye, todos tenemos que organizarnos para pedir que nos ayuden. Ya, pero ¿a quién le pedimos? ¿A dónde vamos? We must reinforce our homes. Trace. Trace of the mesh and location of holes and grooves. Perforation. Holes are perforated through the walls at places indicated. Indentation. Indentations are made on high walls to place reinforcing boards on both sides of the wall. A wire is introduced into the perforations. Plug. The hole is plugged with mortar and to strengthen the wire it goes through a hole made in the board placed on one of the wall's faces. Reinforced boards. The electro-welded mesh is nailed directly against the wall embracing the salient wires. The horizontal mesh is placed over the vertical mesh. The salient 10 centimeters or so of the wire is doubled over the mesh and then nailed with three clamps against the wall or the reinforcing board. The mortar is prepared with a trowel and then applied in two successive layers, rubbed in, and then smoothed with the trowel to cover the mesh. The technology developed is not expensive. It is reliable, simple and sustainable. It can be applied by the inhabitants themselves. It uses material that can be obtained locally and is relatively inexpensive. It respects traditional construction without modifying it. It satisfies that fundamental objective, a contribution to save lives. Tenemos esta receta para que el propio poblador sea el que haga el reforzamiento adecuado. The materials needed are electro-welded wire mesh, fine sand and cement, wire, nails, and bottle caps. To reinforce a typical one-story house, about 70 square meters in area, the cost of materials needed is about 500 US dollars. In the case of a two-story house, it is 650 US dollars. It is not an easy task to promote a new technology among populations with century-old traditions on how to build their homes. Even more so when it is proposed that the materials for reinforcement be provided by the owners themselves, knowing of their low income. For this reason, the promotion and adoption of this technology poses a difficult problem for which solutions are being investigated. The pilot projects carried out by Ceresis at 13 locations in different regions of Peru have created a great deal of interest among the population and local and regional authorities. Similar pilot projects are planned for Bolivia, Ecuador, Chile and Venezuela. Yo me llamo Juan Ruiz Escobar, que yo estoy, he aprendido bastante de las técnicas de los maestros. O sea, yo como albañil, ¿no? Para futuro estamos preparando nosotros. 
Sí, y así nosotros también lo enseñaremos a otras personas, o sea, a otros maestros o a otros oficiales que quieren aprender. It has been proven that people are receptive to this idea, that the estimated cost of materials is realistic and they are available locally, that the people themselves have sufficient knowledge to be able to apply the proposed technology. La nueva técnica, o sea, que ya no es como de antes, porque antes era más trabajo que poner los clavos y poner alambre más, o sea, o sea, que era como este alambre. Entonces era, o sea, más trabajo que a dar las, es, ¿no? Otra, con la antigua. Pero con esta técnica es más, más práctico, más rápido para trabajar. In Peru, the pilot projects have had the official blessing of civil defense, which is convinced that the reinforcement project is an important contribution to protect against earthquake damage and an important step toward establishing a culture of disaster prevention. International colloquium organized by Ceresis. Ceresis has promoted the project with posters, pamphlets, manuals, talks, video film, and the active participation of government and non-governmental organizations. Even so, the cost of the materials cannot be absorbed by the majority of the people who live in adobe housing. But the life of these people is worth infinitely more, which is why it, it is absolutely necessary for governments and other funding agents to find a viable solution for funding. Y hacer esta oferta tan atractiva para ellos que lo pueden hacer, porque todas las personas que han construido sus casas de adobe en todas estas regiones son capaces de hacer este mismo reforzamiento. En síntesis de eso se trata el proyecto y esperemos pues que con paciencia y tenacidad logramos que esta prédica llegue a la conciencia de la gente y se proteja a sí misma. Protect your family. Reinforce your home. This project was carried out at the initiative of the Regional Center for Seismology for South America, CEDESIS, with the technical support of the Department of Engineering of the Catholic University of Peru in Lima, and with the funds from the German Cooperation for Development Program via GTZ, and as one of the demonstration projects of the International Decade for Natural Disasters Reduction.